guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and it is Wednesday, August, what is it, the 7th? <sighs> anyway, I'm tired today. I slept really hard up until about 5.15, and then I, the last half hour, 45 minutes, I kind of just laid in bed, Just, but I was like, I want to sleep. Anyway, I'm here, coffee obtained. Um have to be at work today. So again, I'm, I listened to Sexiest Vampire Live by Carolyn Sparks on the way to work. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It was really funny. The good banter uh, part that we're doing and we're just about to get ready for the adventure. So um, as I said, we're um, over 60% in. So anyway, I'm going to listen to that when if I can um, this morning and finish up my pages for my buddy read with Burner, Burner's Bookish Adventures. And then I'm going to um, listen to something else. I don't know what I feel like today. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm mood reading. Anyway, that's kind of it right now. I just wanted to check in. So I will check in with you guys after work. I don't have any errands. I didn't get that prescription. So I probably will pick that up. And then I have a few things at home I have to do uh, when I get home. Like laundry and... I, uh, yeah, laundry and then... Um, so that's not, I mean, not too big, but that's it. And I have to remember to water tonight because I was bad and I didn't water last night or the night before. So I need to get out and water because it's too hot. I should have been watering the hydrangeas. So I need to do that tonight for sure. And I'm supposed to get a couple books today that were pre-orders. So we'll see if they actually show up. <laughs> anyway, I will check in uh, later. Hey guys, so it's 5.30. I've just been home for a little bit and had dinner. I'm getting tired of leftovers. Anyway, it's fine. I have a couple more left. <laughs> anyway, so today was a normal day at work. I actually kind of reverted to what it normally is like. So it was a little slow in the afternoon, which happens. Um, one of my vendors hasn't been coming by, and I don't know, I don't know where they're dropping our stuff. So I might need to check on something tomorrow. Anyway, so um, I made. Really good progress in Sexy, Sexiest Vampire Alive by Carolyn Sparks. I did my section and I did listen to it a little bit on the way home um, because um, I finished the other book that I was reading. So um, this one's, this is, we're at the climax. Things are happening. I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. So I will finish this tomorrow morning because um, I should not have really listened to it today, but I was just... I, I had to read something on the way home. <laughs> I listened to something, so I listened to that. But I finished um, Unseen Academicals, <laughs> I think is how it said, by Terry Pratchett, book 37 in the Discworld series. I listened to it by Stephen Briggs. And um, um, this one was probably one of my, not my least favorite, but it's in, I was in the lower 10 of ones. I didn't really care for this one. It was a wizard book. If you know the sub categories and um, I liked parts of it but there's a lot of characters that were just for this one and I was like yeah I didn't really like them I did like a few but and and some of it was cute and, uh, and again there's always humor I would always la laugh through part of it but some of it was just kind of like oh whatever <laughs> like it just it wasn't a favorite let's just put it that way so but as I said, I'm trying to finish off Discworld this year, um, not counting the Tiffany Aiken books, which again, I did think about that and I, I probably could attempt We Free Men on audio because I've only tried it physically a couple of times, um, but I could not get through that book. And it's just, I don't know. I'm not counting those books in that series, of that sub-series. Everything else I'm reading that's in the main novels. Anyway. But I got one more done. So now I have two more. I have Raising Steam and Snuff, I think. I think those are the last two. So one more, Moise, whatever his last name is. And I think one more, City Watch. I think that's right. I'm not, no, maybe. I don't know. I think so, but I'm not positive. Anyway, so I have two more. I don't know what the order is or which one's next. But I'm going to probably wait till maybe September I will get to one of them. Um, but anyway, so that one's done. As I said, it was not a favorite. Um, but again, um, it was just, it was a, it was fun mostly. 
So um, that's all I've read so far today. I didn't feel like picking up the Witchwood Crown. I just was thinking I'd just get through the Terry Pratchett book instead. So tomorrow, hopefully, <laughs> we'll pick up the Witchwood Crown at least a little bit and listen to that, but we will see. I still have nine and a half hours on that audiobook. Anyway, I did get a few books that are pre-orders that came in. I did get one yesterday, which um, I forgot I got, which, <laughs> which again, anyway. Um, Queen of Dreams by Kit Rosha. This is book two in this duology. Oh, I can't remember the name of the duology. Um, but Concert of Fire was the first one. Bound to Fire and Steel is the series name. So I read Concert of, uh, Consort of Fire earlier this year, I think, when I still had KU and I was able to listen to it for free. Because um, if you have KU, you can listen to these. Or read the you know the ebooks because it's uh, it's one of Amazon's imprints. But um, and I really I enjoyed it, but I don't remember a whole bunch about it. You know, again, I have read about two hundred and something books between now and then, so I might reread uh, Consort of Fire here pretty soon so that I can read the end of the duology. This is a, a polyamorous relationship, and I think they're dra someone's was it was he a dragon shifter or something? And one was an assassin or ish. I can't remember. I can't remember how it goes. It's been a while. So uh, yeah, I'll probably reread this, uh, reread the first one and then read this one. I do like Kit Rocha a lot, so I will probably do that. So then um, today I also got The Enemy by Sarah Adams. This is one of her older books. It goes with The Match, I think is the one that I got a couple of weeks ago. So these ones have been revised and expanded. So I think she did these self-pub before. Anyway, I love Sarah Adams' books, and so I'm, I wanted to read her older backlist, and they, they're they all coming out this year. So I already have pre-ordered the other two that are coming out. Because again, she's one of my favorite um, contemporary authors. You know, she wrote the um, When in Rome, and uh, uh, was it Picture Perfect? Something like that. Anyway. Um, as I said, I really enjoy her books. Um, not all of them, as well as, you know, not everything. The Rule Book was also one that I read uh, this year. So, that I, I enjoy but didn't love. But um, only because it was a second chance. And it was, anyway. Point is, is I'm not even, this one looks like an enemy's lovers. And this is an, I think this is a second chance, but with their, I think they're enemies. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know. As I said, she, it, even Second Chance Romances, I'll read from her because I like her writing so much and her characters. And I got Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer. So this is the second book in this. I think it's going to be a trilogy. I'm not positive. But it, this is the second book. And where um, Assistant to the villain, villain ended up, it was a cliffhanger. So I've been waiting all year for this. I just love the cover. And I just love the little, little frog Kingsley or whatever. Yeah, Kingsley. <laughs> so he and his little signs. I saw on an Instagram post, like a Kingsley, like a little plushie. Like, where are those? I've never seen those. I would probably buy one because he's so cute. I don't know. We'll have to, I might have to look it up online. Wouldn't that be ridiculous? But I still might do it. But anyway, so um, this one again is a fantasy romance-ish. You know, so it's mostly comedy. Uh, fantasy com uh, a comedic uh, fantasy um, and uh, it mostly has to do with Evie who is the assistant to the villain and sometimes she's more bloodthirsty than the villain. I just really enjoyed that one. Um, I, lis re I listened to it on audio uh, as a reread just a, a week or two ago so I do want to get to that. So um, anyway those are the books I've gotten recently. So as I said I'm home now. The laundry's running. Sorry. I have to get that done. Um, I am going to sit here and read a few more volumes of Subasa uh, Reservoir Chronicle. Uh, I have volume 19 next by Clamp. So as I said, I have 10 more volumes and then I've finished the main series. So I am going to try to get that done in the next few days. I just don't want to stop reading this. So um, it's just the things that have, that happened last night when I was reading this were like, oh, wow, big reveals. And again, as I said, I still have 10 volumes to read. 
So um, I'm excited to see where this goes because I do not remember it until it gets there in the story. Like, I don't remember everything. So it's just been a fun reread. It's been really great. So I think that's it for now. As I said, I'm doing laundry. I'm going to watch some booktube and then um, and read Subasa. I don't really have any other plans right now. So I will check in with you later tonight to see how many volumes I get done or if anything else comes up. <laughs> anyway, so I will check in with you later. Yeah, it's just a typical night. <laughs> okay, it's about nine o'clock, so I'm going to wrap this up. I did get through a lot of Sabasa. It's been, oh, I forgot like half of what, of course, I've told you that. But the point is that this is just more and more exciting. I, the twists and turns and just, I just, when I love a series, I just love a series. So anyway, I have read volume 19 Volume 20, <laughs> Volume 21, Volume 22, and I'm about halfway, well, a little bit over halfway in Volume 23. So I'm, I'll finish this before bed, and if I have time, I will start the next one, but I won't finish that one. But um, so many things have happened in these last few episodes, or you know, volumes, just uh, things I, well, again, completely forgot, but I teared up a couple times. I forgot what happened, and then it happens, and I'm like, ah, my characters. Um, it's been a while since I binged a series, a, a manga series, um, in so many days, like, you know, just read several volumes every day, and again, I've been doing this since when I start Saturday. Oh, anyway, I think it was Saturday I started. So I'm really enjoying this. So if I get this done, then I have five volumes left. So I should be able to finish this tomorrow night if I have time. I should. I don't think I have any errands or anything after work or anything I have to do. I did water tonight. Hey, I did get out there because tomorrow is supposed to be like 98 or something. 96, 98. I don't know. I don't know. Not looking forward to it, but my poor hydrant just needed water. So I got that done this, tonight, and I'll do it again tomorrow. But I at least did that to her. My dishwasher's running. I did my laundry. So I got stuff done, but I, oh, this was, this has been so good. Um, again, anyway. So I'm going to, as I said, finish this volume and maybe start 24. And then, as I said, I only have... Well, you know, that's five volumes left for tomorrow. So, and again, if I get a little bit done on 24 tonight, then, then I'll for sure probably be able to finish tomorrow. Oh, I'm just like, I, I think I'm going to be one of, after I get done, I don't know how this one ends because XXXholic, which you kind of, again, I read that all, um, in July and then, um, that is kind of a companion to this series, but this series is longer so things that happen in that one it, are just kind of a little sprinkled in. There's, there's much more going on in this series than in that series, although I love that series, XXXholic. I mean, a lot. I really like that series. But that's... Um, so again, we get glimpses of stuff in between the two. But um, this one has just been amazing to reread as well. I'm really um, glad that I took the time to do this, even though, you know, I, I have so many other books I could be reading. Sure. But again, I've owned these for years and I, I get to reread them when I feel like it. So anyway, I am so excited that this has gone so well. Um, I don't have a clue how it ends because I don't remember. And I just, I think that's the funniest thing about this whole thing is that I remember parts of it once I get into it. But that whole, I have no idea where it goes in the end. Because something just happened that I was like, oh, I can like never didn't remember that at all. <laughs> something that happened and I'm like oh my gosh so um anyway I'm gonna close this out here so today I did pretty good with my audio booking at work and then I read you know I read I'll, I'll have read five volumes of manga for um for this evening so we'll see how it goes tomorrow tomorrow I'm definitely gonna finish 
um, Sexy as a Vampire Alive because that's the end of my buddy read. So, and as I said, I did do a little bit of that today, but you know, whatever. It's, it'll be finished tomorrow morning. Um, and then we'll see if I feel like The Witchwood Crown. If I don't, I still have five audiobooks from the library that I need to get to so from Libby. So, um, it could be anything. I don't know at this point. But I know that tomorrow evening I will be finishing Subasa. So, anyway, I think that's it. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.